this is the same database interface that you will find in other databases. Start with a simple search, pipelines. It suggests other ones that we could use, but we're just going to use pipelines. Many thousand, far too, much, far too much to use. The important thing you see is suggested subjects. Here, let's pick pipelines as a subject. Much better, 4,900, but still a lot. Now, one of the things your teacher often wants you to find is scholarly journals. Off to the right, under narrow results, source type is very useful. There are other types, but we're going to go with scholarly journals. Now, many of these have full text, as we see even number 8, full text and full text PDF. But many of the top ones do not have full text, at least in this database. Let's look at number 2, Pipelines and Permafrost. The key link is, where can I get this? When we select that link, it shows us that this journal is available from Academic Search, Complete or Canadian Reference Center. If we click on the blue link, it will go to that database and give you full text. Let's close this out and go back to our suggested subjects. Pipelines has been very broad, but when we look at the second one, Pipelines and Enbridge, this is what describes the current topic that's in the news about a pipeline from Alberta to the Pacific Ocean. Let's click on this to see what we get. We get 153, but look at source type. There are no journals because this is in the news. It's still too new a topic for journals to use. What we can do is actually go to trade journals or magazines. Let's look at trade journals. It gives us 73 results. And some of these are from Things Journal of Commerce. There's a variety of things, Oil Week, that you can go through. A lot of full text. This gives you not scholarly, but still very useful information. So, this is a basic way of using ProQuest. We'll be doing another tutorial about how to narrow your results much more precisely.